interrupt this program to bring you Olashki. Hey guys, and welcome back! Today we are playing Balan Wonderworld by the creator of Nights into Dreams and Sonic the Hedgehog of all things. This is ridiculous. Um, I'm going to start a completely new game because I started playing it yesterday. I only got past the first level, so... Look at all the characters we can have. I'm going to choose this one that looks most like me. IRL. Oh, cutscene. Totally mute. Not gonna say a word. <laughs> Albeit, it does look like a, like a, a you know, a wee me training video. That's a lie, actually. It looks really nice. <laughs> The CG animation is very nice here. Although it makes no sense. He's all sad because he joined into the dancing competition and they don't want to dance. Or rather, his dance was better than theirs and he's upset about it. And now he doesn't want to pass them their basketball. Oh no. Come on, dude. Pass that ball. Even the birds are like that. They're like, come on, bro. Pass the ball. No? Okay. Well, we'll just sit here sadly. Belang Company presents Sonic Company. Sonic! It's Chocobo! Or a Chow Chow. Or a Chow Garden. A garden is for Chows. Why did I say that? Yep, so you can play this either as a boy and or old girl. And there's two different story arcs for it. So in in the opening cutscene, it shows us both at the same time, which is really it's really well done. So it doesn't really you know detract from the part of the story that you're playing. It's just showing you the other side of it, and it's really nice. And not only that, this cutscene looks absolutely fantastic. I love the character design of Balan. He's amazing. He looks like a smash between knights from Knights into Dreams and a character from Sonic, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Emit Rosasi! Very charismatic. It's such a warming and in, in, inviting sort of look, doesn't he? He could be evil for him. It's fine, because he's a cool guy in a top hat. I think she just drank them in a cup of, you know, a cup of water. I'm guessing they're dead now. Embark upon great adventure. The land, Wonderland. Oh, Wonderland? Wonderworld! Well, I feel like Balan, like, Wonderland would have been definitely better. It would have rolled off the tongue. So much better. Unfortunately, they didn't go for that, did they? No, of course not. The Isle of Tims. Tims in this game effectively act like chows. Or wisps. Maybe not wisps, more like chows, because the overworld acts like Chow Garden from um, Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. Sorry if you heard that, that is my cat, who will not be quiet. Anyway, let's carry on. <laughs> this is the overworld, it looks wonderful, beautiful and barren. As always, we need to complete the first level anyway. Let's go!
the man who rages against the storm. Oh my god, the whole level is splitting in two. That's not good, is it? Yeah, this game reminds me thoroughly of Nights Into Dreams. It's got a different playstyle. It's more like a 3D platforming perspective. However, it's Blan who reminds me of Nights Into Dreams, so I should shut my mouth, really. <laughs> Um, the collectibles definitely look like the gems that you collect in Nights into Dreams, so look at these. Just plays like a simple 3D platformer, and that, that's good enough for me. I've missed games like this. I know there was a hullabaloo about it on the internet recently, but in the same breath, I, I never look at the hullabaloo, or the reviews. I play games based on the merit of how I feel. And 100% of the time, they actually play really well, and this controls really nicely. Looks beautiful. We've got a new skin. And that's all I really care about. As long as I enjoy it, uh, I don't really care what everyone else thinks. I know it's like, you know, the knack to hate on things on the internet. Like Bubsy. Bubsy's actually a traditionally a good platforming game. I just feel like it's. You know, it's trendy to dislike them. But I always maintained in any of my videos about Bubsy. Oh, we got a trophy! Or a statue. Um, I always maintained in any of my Bubsy um, videos that I actually really liked his games. Because they are nowhere near as bad as people make out. Maybe the third one, though, for sure. Oh, we've got to battle some baddies. He looks like, what's his name? Infinite from um, Sonic Forces. In fact, actually, he looks just like Infinite from Sonic Forces. Okay. He's gone. We can live happily ever after. Oh, we need the key. Get the next costume. Oh no, it's over here. Remember it from my last playthrough. Ah, I got the key. Oh. I can't get that red gem. That's not good, is it? No. We gotta go have to get the costume. No, oh, yeah, we got a jumping jack costume. That's always good. Looks lovely. You look, you look fabulous. The other thing I don't like is how the embassy M embassies? NPCs disappear when you get close to them. That's very upsetting. It doesn't look good. Hey. Okay, let's carry on. Let's go do the special level with Balan. Look at him, he looks awesome. He looks amazing. Balan's bout! A when Balan's shadow is about to connect with him. Basically, basically cuties. But it's fine, it's done in a really nice way because it looks pretty. And I love the music as well. The music is fantastic. Well, tap A like a maniac. Uh, there we go. Excellent. Excellent. Balan is going through the sky to the bad guy. Ready to press A. Shadow connects! Excellent! We've killed the bad guy. And we're moving on to the next level. Big boss, can you hear me? <laughs> oh wait, we've got to hit the button again. Uh, excellent! We win! Uh, uh, oh god. Fantastic stuff. Big wink, you did it! Excellent! Four, great, none, times 200, ah! Oh. Oh, secret statue, oh my god! We're the best of this game! I'm guessing I'm gonna put this in the same category as like Blinks, the Time Sweeper, as well, and Knights. I mean like they're everything after Sonic, so... None of them have really stuck other than Knights. Knights is a fantastic game. Blinks was also a fantastic game. It just didn't have the love it deserved, I personally think. 
And as for this one, I'm sure over time, people will think the same. <laughs> I laugh, but I'm not being I'm not being a joke. I don't think anyone's going to remember this game. Not from after what everyone you know has said about it. I've read anyway. Even though I think it's fantastic, I love it. So this essentially is your hub world, but it also acts as the Chow Garden, or the they're called Tims in this. I haven't got any blue Tims. Oh, uh, alright. I'll put some yellow ones down. Whee! I'll pick a couple of them up though, because a lot of them don't actually eat what you put down, and then they need to spawn, which is really annoying. As you can see here. He's enjoying the Tims. He loves it. So relaxing, I love it. I just wish we had a VMU for this game so we could take them on the road. Oh, he's fully grown. Uh, it's, um, that's, that only really resorts to the smaller ones. So you need to grow your Tims to then grow the time, I think it's the clock tower? Time tower? What lives inside the hub world. No! The bigger one's coming! Get out of here, you! Eat my gems. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and be sure to check out the next part. Bye!